Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you guys can see, we are in the third bay. We'll be working on the truck shortly, but today we just have a real quick video. This shouldn't take too long, but basically we're going to be replacing both of the wiper arms on the truck. Part numbers are going to be 1576149.7. The other one is 1576149.6. And basically what we're going to be doing today is replacing the 2000, I believe it's 2003 and newer, so 2003 to 2007, the classic uh, truck arms with the older 99 to 02 style. The reason we're doing that is because I really want to be able to take my windshield wiper arms and lift them up. For some reason, I think it was 2003, they decided to change the truck arm, and I'll show you right here. You guys can see that I'm trying to lift up the wiper arm, and they only go up like an inch or two. They don't go up all the way. So if you got inclement weather, like sleet, freezing rain, whatever, you can't lift your wiper arms up and leave them up. You can only lift them up a little bit. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and install these new wiper arms. Like I said, these are from the older style, and these do lift up all the way. And I will say this, I think this will work on the non-HD Chevrolets, and it should work on all the GMCs. I believe the Cat Eye Chevy HD, so 2500 HD, I don't believe it'll work on those hoods because I think the those cat eye hoods are a little bit taller. And yes, I do have a Chevy HD hood on my truck, but my truck is the older hood, so it's the 99 to 2000, really 2002 uh, Chevrolet Silverado HD hood. That's why it will fit. Like I said, fair warning, if, if you guys have the HD hood with a cat eye, I don't think it'll work. All right guys, to get started on this swap, you basically want to pop off this little rubber cap. Might be actually plastic. But yeah, so you want to get this off. And yes, yeah, so that's basically going to be covering up a 13 millimeter nut. All right, yeah, so there's your 13 millimeter nut. We're going to spray a little bit of uh, PB blaster on here and uh, hopefully get that to loosen up because uh, I've already tried the uh, passenger side wiper and uh, yeah, that, that one wasn't moving. So, all right, so here's your 13 millimeter socket. Oh, that was <laughs> barely even tight. We'll uh, get that off. And uh, like I said, we'll put a little bit of a PB blaster or some kind of penetrating fluid on here. Try to um, get this knocked loose because basically you're trying to get the stud through the wiper arm. All right, guys, we got the uh, driver's side wiper arm off. This is actually pretty simple. So what I did was I just ended up pushing down on this front part here, kind of like that. That actually got it loose over here on the stud. And what you kind of have to do is find the magic balance between of pushing down just far enough and pulling up on the back with it, your, with your other hand. So push down with one arm, pull up on on the back of here with the other arm. And uh, once you get the uh, right angle, this thing pops right out. So let's go ahead, get this arm off. We'll get this wiper off. And you get transferred over the new one. Oh, and these wipers I replaced last year. So these wipers should still be good. All right, guys, here's a good comparison of the passenger side. Look at the new one versus looking at the old one. And here is our fully assembled driver's side. And as you guys can see, you know, our old factory 16, 15 or 16 year old wipers are about shot. I'm assuming the original, I'm not sure if they've ever been replaced, the wiper arms themselves, but, but I actually had looked into kind of restoring those, painting them with trim black and trying to get this all apart. Then I saw this modification of putting the old one on the new one on one of the Facebook groups, I believe it was the GMT 800 owners group or truck group or something like that. It's on Facebook. It's one of the big ones. I saw the swap on there. I'm like, you know what? It's not too bad. I looked into the prices. I believe each one of these wiper arms were about $20, $25, something like that. And a can of paint isn't cheap today and much easier to just replace the whole arm versus taking the arm off, prepping it for paint, painting it, and then selling it, potentially screwing it up. So much easier just to do a bolt-on affair. All right, I put the 13 millimeter nut on here, tighten everything down. I aimed the windshield wiper basically where there, there's a mark on the windshield. Put it on that, tighten everything down. We've got our little cap to put on here. We got to connect the hose to the windshield washer sprayer and that's pretty much about it. All right guys, we got both the driver's side and the passenger side windshield wiper arms installed. We did the same thing over here on the passenger side, just kind of tapped it down until finally 
you know, we got that uh, stud broken loose on the wiper arm. So I pulled the old one out, put the new one in, put the 13 millimeter nut back on, tightened it down, put the cap on, and then we connected the windshield washer hose, like we said, over there and on the passenger side. So let's uh, get the uh, hood closed and we'll show you what the final product looks like. All right, so here's what the final product looks like. We got these brand new black windshield wiper arms and we get the benefit of the older style, they come out. And so that's gonna be your 99 to 02 windshield wiper arms on a 2005 GMC Sierra with Chevy Silverado HD hood. All right guys, so that's pretty much gonna be it on the windshield wiper arm install. Like I said, these are the factory ones. I believe this is gonna be the driver's side. And if you guys look, it's just, it's all faded and nasty. So if you guys like this truck video, hit that like button. If you wanna see more of these videos, these truck videos, hit that subscribe button down below. And if you guys wanna help support the channel, I'll drop some links down below for the windshield wiper arms. I think you can find them on Amazon. If not, I'll give you a part number and you can look on Rock Auto, GM, wherever. So, and also make sure you check out our website, bonecrusherss.com. Thanks, guys. Yeah.